Special coverage on the Maharashtra political situation continues. We have with us a very special guest, uh, senior Congress leader and Rajya Sabha MP Shakti Singh Goel is joining us live. Shakti Singh Goel ji, बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका. Welcome to News X. Uh, how do you view this uh, evolving political situation in Maharashtra, in which it seems that the Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi has lost its majority? At least that is the claim of the rebel camp led by Eknath Shinde and the BJP. Do you agree with this claim? Do you believe the MVA has lost majority? <laughs> no, no. First, you will have to look at the drama. Whoever is elected on the party symbol, as per the Anti-Defection Act, which was introduced in the Parliament by Rajiv Gandhi and Parliament had passed. Thereafter, when Mr. Atal Bihari Bajpayee was Prime Minister. he on a high moral ground has said even in rajya sabha also whoever is elected on the party symbol shall loyal to his own party and they, there shall not be any horse trading in uh, with the mlas or mps now what today bjp is doing against the wish of uh, atal bihari vajpayee or against the wish of the parliament against the wish of all the parties now today bjp is doing horse trading the mlas from other party they are on uh, giving a threat through ed cd cbi income tax and on other hand they are luring that okay come here we'll give you money we'll give you post ministerial birth and this type of tactic has no place in the democracy the about the number game i think the, if the if mlas are by their own wish and they want to go they they should remain in the uh, maharashtra and they can decide they can go to governor why they went to surat and then the one M one mla who came back has also said that it was forceful uh, under the threat of police the mlas were taken to go um, assam now in assam there is a vast flood situation people are suffering a lot and at that time the assam go bjp government is a duty on their shoulder to look after the assami people but putting everything aside they are busy to see that in maharashtra government shall fall okay and this type of tactic has no place in the democracy okay shakti singh goel what what you are basically saying is that uh, these mps have been kidnapped they are being kept there forcefully you are saying that they are being held against their free will that's your charge on eknath shinde that's your Certainly. charge on the bjp certainly certainly the ekrat sindhe ji as a senior leader can jolly well stay in mumbai whatever they want to have a differences they can say why why they want to go to the state where the bjp is ruling why they went to surat there are so many places in maharashtra they are they are mlas they are senior leaders why they should shy or why why so, they should so have so your charge is that these these mlas It have been kidnapped clearly shows that on the bjp BJP is doing all this drama. I am coming from Gujarat. I know the top two who are doing all these things. They both are from Gujarat. The same plots were they did in uh, started in Gujarat, and now the same Gujarat model they are implementing in a, the uh, in the country. Okay. This is not the fair politics. Only two MPs were there from BJP where okay. Rajiv Gandhi was a prime minister. Okay. But they gave due respect to two MPs. As, as a opposition so your today, your charge is doing, shakti then, singh goel your charge is that eknath shinde is acting on the instructions of bjp and it is bjp that is doing all of this which is why they were first taken to surat which is a bjp state and then what, guwahati what bjp but, minister is yes yeah in guwahati where the this uh, shiv sena mlas are there why bjp minister is checking your channels some channels are showing the footage is also where the assam <laughs> bjp ministers are also that in that hotel no, what but are my, they doing but my follow up question to you is that every my follow up question then to you is we are we are learning right. through our sources yesterday that after a meeting that sharad pawar held with uddhav thakre and discussion was also held with your senior leader kamal nath who has been appointed observer uh, for the state of maharashtra that you reportedly have made an offer to eknath shinde to come back and become the chief minister is this correct look i am not authorized to comment on that our uh, state in charge or our observer who is there can uh, can tell officially on that line 
I am not a, uh, I don't know about the, those things and I am not authorized to say on the, that line because our authorized person are uh, observer and our state uh, in charge. They will certainly say officially, I don't know anything about that, whatever you are asking me. No, but are you welcome to, uh, you know, to the return of Eknath Shinde and these rebel MLAs to your Aghadi government? Do you rule that out now or are you open Look, to their return? No, I, I am saying that whoever is elected on a party symbol shall loyal to its own symbol and party. <laughs> that they are not a free voter. The three, ju three judges of the Supreme Court, headed by Justice Deepak Mishra, has ruled that there are two types of voter. One is a free voter who can go anywhere and cast their vote. But the another is an indirect voter who, is, who got elected on the party symbol as a party candidate. So the person who got elected on a party symbol has a duty to loyal to his own party and its leader. So Uddhav Thakreji is a Shiv Sena leader. So how can any MLA defy him and go there? So it is not fair. So if they go back to their party, I think they are respecting anti-defection law. They okay. are respecting the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court. Okay. What about your own MLAs? Uh, now, obviously, there is a crisis within the Shiv Sena, clearly. Uh, it seems the NCP MLAs are so far, though, intact. What about your party MLAs? Some of them were missing from a meeting earlier in the week, but then Mr. Kamal Nath's claim was uh, that all your MLAs were there for the last meeting which was held uh, 48 hours ago. Uh, what is uh, your uh, information, Shakti Singh Gohil? Are your MLAs intact? Are the Congress MLAs intact? Or are you scared some of them also might rebel? No, I don't think any of my MLA will go anywhere. And when Mr. Kamal Nath is there and he is seeing that all the MLAs, he is a very senior and responsible leader. When he is saying all the MLAs are there and they are intact, I am sure. And I know the uh, most of the uh, Congress MLAs of Maharashtra. And I am sure that no one will go. There will be lots of offer. There will be threat from CD. There will be threat from CBI. There will be threat from income tax. And on another end, BJP uh, shall be luring them. They do that. But my Congress MLAs, I am sure that they will be loyal to Congress party and all will be there. When Mr. Kamal Nath is saying, it is, it is sure that uh, they are, they are, we are intact, okay. no uh, Congress MLA is here. Okay, okay well, we are going to be uh, watching this situation very, very closely. My final question though to you, Shakti Singh Goyal, before we let you go, is a wider point. Because we are seeing this happen over and over again. You are of course blaming the BJP for this. You are saying this is the Gujarat model. Uh, you know, that is now being uh, reenacted across various other states in the country and nationally. But why is this happening with the opposition time and time again? We saw it happen with your government in Madhya Pradesh. We saw it happen with your government in Karnataka. Uh, we've seen it in other states too. Why is the opposition not being able to, uh, to you know, keep its flock together? Why are so many MLAs rebelling? Do you believe it's when? a leadership issue? Do you believe it is money power? What is the reason for it, Shakti Singh Goyal? Because it's, it's, it's being reenacted once again the, the, and the, it obviously uh, seems that opposition has not learnt its lessons yeah. from earlier states. Good question. I'll tell you that when you are in a power at a central, it's an oath we take. Whenever whoever is uh, uh, taking oath as a minister or prime minister is taking oath that they will free, fair and fearless uh, atmosphere shall be there and they act as per the constitution. Now what constitution says there shall not be any misuse of central agencies. If you are tomorrow you are a prime minister and if you will all your misuse all your agencies and then, then certainly there will be a threat, there will be a fear and under fear someone may not sustain that fear or you are luring which is not permissible in the democracy. The same thing tactic was done in uh, Rajasthan, but I should give credit to all my uh, Congress MLAs in Rajasthan and to Ashok Gehlotji. BJP tried many times, they could not succeed. They tried in Chhattisgarh also, they could not succeed. But they are trying everywhere and wherever there is a weakness. My leader, they will take my leader and make, make them a uh, union minister in, uh, from uh, Madhya Pradesh. What they did in Karnataka. Yes. So this is the people's mandate was for the Congress party. When against the people's mandate, BJP is doing, it's not permissible in democracy. Okay. But at the end, I'm sure that people of the country are seeing all these things. Okay. And 
पब्लिक है सब जानती है अंदर क्या है बाहर क्या है सब पहचानती है सो पीपल विल टीच दम लेसन चलिए हम देखेंगे और हम इस स्थिति पे लगातार हमारी निगरानी बनी हुई है फिलहाल के लिए शक्ति सिंह गोयल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन न्यूज एक्स फॉर मोर सच वीडियोस सब्सक्राइब टू द न्यूज एक्स YouTube चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन